Now, first for local news, Como 4 News. If you're not bringing in the kind of money you really want, there's a good chance part of the problem is the way you think about money and about yourself. Part of the solution? Change your thinking. And there's a new book out aimed at helping you do that. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, Mastering the Inner Game of Wealth by Harv Ecker. And Harv is our guest today. He's traveling around doing seminars. He's the founder of one of the fastest growing success training companies in North America. And he stopped by this morning. Welcome. Thank nice you. to see you. You talk about the fact that people should know their money blueprint. And I'm wondering what the heck that is. Well, simple. You know, your money blueprint is simply uh, a conditioned process that you learned on how to handle money. Uh, basically, we learned by our verbal conditioning, our modeling, what we saw with our parents and, and specific incidents that occurred. And then we take those conditionings on and then we believe this is the way we do it, but it's actually the way it was given to us. So actually, all of us were pretty well taught how to do money. And unfortunately, by people who usually didn't have that much or who had a lot of issues around the stuff. And, and you are one of those people because you went from having nothing to having quite a bit in just two and a half years. Tell us more about your background. Well, actually, you know, I, my parents came from Europe. They came with basically nothing, no, no suitcases even. And so money was very important in our family. And so I learned that money was survival. So I just wanted to be a millionaire. I didn't want to be an astronaut or baseball. I just wanted to be a millionaire. And, uh, but you know what? It wasn't working. No matter what I did, that d just didn't work. Uh, very fortunately, I was able to make a million dollars in one of my businesses, uh, in the fitness business. And uh, what happened two years later? Lost it all. And I went back to almost the exact level that I had started with. And I noticed that number was there over and over again. I realized because I was in the fitness business that we have this, uh, this is the same way we have a set point when it comes to our weight, mm -hmm. we have a set point when it comes to our money. And using some very, very extremely high impact processes, I was actually able to change my financial set point, and now I do the same for thousands of other people. We were talking about the way, the way you think, and it's both internally and externally. A, a part of the problem, you, you say, is, is your motivation for money, because if you don't really know why you want money, you may get it and, and, and it not solve what you want. Absolutely. You know, it depends on why you want your money, but a lot of people, they'll go for money, but they won't have happiness with it. Of course, you have to have both because their root of money is fear or proving themselves or anger, rebelling against something that they may have grown up poor. And they I'll go, get I'm even. Never, I'll show yeah, them. Exactly right. And that never makes you happy. Right. So you got to have both. Right. Now, you said something else that I, that I uh, really like. Rich people are bigger than their problems and poor people are smaller than their problems and that has a lot to do with the equation of how successful you can be financially. Absolutely, it's how you respond to things. You know, if you have a, a problem in front of you, if that's a big problem to you, then you must be a small person right now. It's very simple. You know, you have to be able to take things in stride. The bigger you get, the more responsibilities you have. You have to be able to take those things and handle those things. You know, when, as you get larger, people take shots at you and whatever it is, you have to be able to own that and say, I can handle this too. So it's not about the size of the problem ever. It's always about the size of you and it always comes back to you because you are the root. You are the container for your wealth. And you say these things really work if people apply these principles. We have a quarter million people that really? we've taught and it's, um, we have 2,000 people at a time from all over the world to our seminars almost every weekend. Well, let's tell people about the seminar you're going to be doing tonight at 7 o'clock. It's a three-hour seminar at the Airport Hilton and Conference Center. You all know that's in SeaTac there on Pacific Highway South. And the book again, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for nice having me. Nice to meet me. you.